Hello friends, this is me Anil Polsani. I am your mainframe trainer and I would like to cover the third video on this uh, document for interview questions. Uh, we already have video 1, video 2 on the first 10 questions. This is video 3 on the next 5 questions here. We are keeping it short guys. We don't want to keep it 1 hour, 2 hour sessions of all the interview questions. That will, you will see only 1 minute and then you will close it, right? So instead of that, I would like to show you like 10 videos you see whenever you are free, just while you're traveling somewhere, you just see for 10 to 10 minutes, you'll understand. So let's go to the 11th question quickly here, compilation process for COBOL DB2 program. So yes, guys, this is one of the most famous review question, top three questions we can say in DB2 module. Compilation process is top three questions, guys. Now you need to learn what is the process. Yes, Anil, it is uh, pre-compilation, I know, bind, I know, I know. I want you to learn the components. What I mean is, what is packages? What is plan is exactly? Because once you explain the pre-compilation process, okay, the immediate question they want to ask you is, what is package? What is plan? What's the difference between them as such, right? So if it is only pre-compilation process, how you need to tell in the interview is, first you say that, if it is COBOL DB2 program, our compiler, COBOL compiler, IGYCRC ETL is the COBOL compiler, right? You say that it cannot compile the DB2 code. So for that, we need to use another compilation process, what we call it as pre-compilation process. So you give the background. Now explain the pre-compilation process. You will say that in pre-compilation process, we will move the SQL queries, we'll comment the SQL queries in the program, we'll move those SQL queries as an output as DBRM and the leftover COBOL code, what you specifically use the word called modified COBOL code, will go for compilation, link edit and create the load module. Now, since you have only the query part extracted to verify the query, okay, to check the query, you'll apply a bind process. In the bind process, you'll be getting the output of a package and you'll connect this package to a particular plan. Now, stop the answer there because anyway, they'll ask you a lot of questions. You don't need to go ahead and tell everything, okay? Wait, let them ask you what is package, let them ask you what is plan. So you simply say the components. So you do pre-compilation process. You get the load for your COBOL code. You get the package and the plan for your SQL code. Till there is your answer. Let them ask what is package, let them ask what is plan. We'll discuss that. Second question what we have is we don't want to use cursor. What is the SQL statement we can use to retrieve only one row? Now it's very simple question guys. This is to use a select plus where condition. Not only select query guys. In the interview you need to say that if I want to retrieve only one row, I'll be writing a select plus where condition as such. Now the next question what we have is what will happen to cursor at a time of commit and rollback? Now, this is one of the good question, guys. Rollback has no impact. I'll tell you, I have tested it in my training systems already. Whether you do a rollback yourself or whether your system does a rollback here, this concept is little different, okay? Rollback in program, we never write it. If a system query fails, let it roll back itself. But rollback, we don't write the query in the programs, in the production as well. So in the interview, you can say that I have not seen rollback in my project programs. I'm not sure. I know as a trainer guys, I can tell you it will nothing will happen. Okay, system will not do any rollback changes as well. It is dummy there. But in the intro point, you will not so say all those things. You simply say that I haven't seen any rollback in my project program, but I know in case if my pro program fails, system will do auto rollback. That is point one. Second point is commit. Now commit is used in the programs and it has effect guys. So in case if you use a commit in the program, the system assumes that the process is completed and it will start saving the record changes. Now, along with that, the cursor will be getting close. That's what they want. They want the answer is, if I use a commit in the program, the cursor will be close. That is the answer they need. But please remember, that's not the actual question. The question here is, okay, if you see here, this is a subsequent question, question number 14, guys. Once they are talking about cursor and commit, the next question they'll ask you is, if cursor is getting closed, you told that the cursor will be closed if a commit is performed. Right, very good, excellent answer. But I want the cursor to be open status, okay? I want to keep the cursor in the open status, what you do. That's the question they'll ask you subsequent to 13, guys. 
okay that in question they'll ask you two things one what is commit in the program what happens to the cursor you will easily say that whenever you use a commit the cursor will be getting closed very good excellent nice the second question they'll ask you is what shall i do to keep my cursor in open status even a commit is performed that is the question they want to ask you actually so you will tell that you will disturb the cursor using a withhold option in your db2 program wise Google db2 program we have an option called withhold option using that we can keep the cursor even if it is in commit status as well now roll back commit are done here 14th question can we check sql code at open cursor yes obviously i don't know why this question came into our chat but yes it is basic guys it's basic after running any sql query except declaration okay but declaration you cannot use the sql code but yes while opening the cursor only very key part guys opening the cursor is the key part only when you open the cursor guys the particular query will be executed system will create the result set now your table might not be available so the open cursor may fail maybe the query contains some bad character of where condition so the query will fail so basically without checking the cursor is opened successfully or not running a fetch query is no use unnecessary error where part so yes we will check the sql code for zero if it is open successful then we'll continue to fetch the records one by one next what we have is what will happen if we use cursor withhold option exactly guys this is the part i was trying to tell you i thought it was on 14 but it's on 15 here so yes as i told you guys if what will happen if you use cursor withhold option so in the program in the program when you do a commit the cursor will save the change the commit will save the changes guys and the cursor will be in open status only but that these questions are interconnected let me tell you one point guys if they're asking you pre-compilation process bind process is associated package plan is also associated what is this if you go to any grocery shop guys if you see gro grocery shop arrangement when you see a paste a brush will be beside that only why because they are associated if anyone want to buy a brush or paste they should be in the same place right in our any world guys in any way this association law is applied a lot of places even in an interview as well so if they are asking you about cursor concept or a commit question obviously they will be asking you this withhold option obviously they will ask you about db2 restart logic because those are associated similarly if they are asking you the bind question or the pre-compilation question bind process package plan all these are associated so you need to prepare all these related associated questions wait the question wait for the questions you only don't tell everything if you tell everything they'll leave that easy question they'll start asking you hard question you know it guys very simple way if you are expecting three or four questions if it is cursor is there they'll ask you commit cursor withhold option they'll ask you db2 restart logic minus 811 cursor 305 uh, the null indicator all these questions you are aware right so what I want you to do is stick to the question and answer. If they ask you pre-compilation, explain only pre-compilation and stop your answer at creating package and plan. But then the interviewer will prepare the second question. What is package? What is plan? Then you will start answering those questions one by one. If you only told everything, what is package? What is plan and everything? Now interview will search for a hard question. He will not ask you the second question. He will ask the another topic where you may not be prepared, right? So these are some top questions which you must prepare and go to the interview and without fail you need to answer them properly as an experienced candidate you will be very confident you should be very confident and answer them okay so anyway guys this is another short video for another five questions we will see i will create another video immediately guys very soon today or tomorrow only for other questions keep it short revise only 10 15 minutes a day and complete that video once the video is done keep it away go for another particular video and listen that one as well okay if you want to join our classes guys the details are here ping me on whatsapp for more information okay thank you guys